Hi everyone, it's Donna Stellhorn, your practical astrologer, here to talk to you today about the tarot. And that is, I want to give you a heads up of what 2023 has to offer you, but using the tarot. And that is because I am also announcing my new tarot course is available. And so I wanted to show you a little bit about how I read the tarot and specifically give you information for 2023. Okay, Libra, when we look at 2023 for you and the overall picture, we get the Knight of Wands, an excellent card. And this is about embodying confidence and being a person who takes direct action. Now, it's really interesting in the Rider Waite deck, we see that the wand itself has little uh, buds on it, little leaves on it. And this says, look for opportunities that bring you personal growth. Now, this horse is charging forward, and that indicates that it's you are jumping into things, that you are going 100% full speed. And so this is not dabbling in something new. This is really just jumping in. So another thing that's very interesting about this card is that we see the little salamanders on his outfit they are not necessarily biting their tail. So we don't have a closed loop. And so this is about finishing things that are open loop. And so what is it that you're finishing? Well, you're probably finishing things from the past because this card, when we look at it, is going towards the left and that is the past. And so this might be projects that you were still completing from 2022 or even earlier. And that's not a bad thing because it's probably time to finish those. And maybe that's your novel or your album or getting a new job or moving. So, so there's a lot of activity here that is getting completed. But the great thing is you have the confidence to do it. You have the brain power to do it. We see that that burst of fiery red coming from the head to indicate that. And you are quite protected because you're in full armor. And so as you go and take these activities, you know, win or lose, you know, pass or fail, you're still strong throughout. And so it's worth taking the risk because when you win, it's fantastic. And when you lose, you grow and you learn something. Now, when it comes to love relationships, wow, you hit the jackpot here. You got the star card. And so that is a wonderful card of where you have a not just a connection to someone else in this world, but also a spiritual connection. So we also see there's an opportunity to feel guided to towards a relationship or T through problems in a relationship because you have so much help from the universe. We see the sky just, you know, filled with stars. We also see companionship here. There's a little bird friend that she has. And so uh, she's definitely not alone. And that might mean literally pets, but it also can mean that whenever you want companionship, it's available to you. But I want to point out the most magical thing about this card, you know, because sometimes we think that getting a relationship going is so challenging or to work through the problems of an existing love relationship. You know, it's such an uphill battle. But if you'll notice that while she's kneeling towards the pond, she's actually standing on the water. And that is that she's doing something completely magical. And that's what you can do this year. You can get through problems in the relationship, or you can meet someone new because you are this magical, blessed person who is co-creating with the universe. So really excellent energy. Now, when it comes to your money, you get the three of wands, but it's upside down. Now, we look at upside down cards as kind of like retrograde or something that you're having to work on something from the past about or something that you were needing to work out internally. And so what this is indicating, especially when it's right side up, is somebody who's waiting for their ship to come in, right? He's standing on, on this precipice, on this cliff, and he's watching the ships come and go, and he's looking for his own ship. Now, we do see that he is quite wealthy because he's dressed very nicely, and he has three wands with him. So he already has something. He's just waiting for more. 
Now, the fact that the card is upside down indicates that you may be waiting for something to come in that you started in the previous year, so or that you even started way before that. And so one of the challenges for you this time is to look and say to yourself, is it still worth waiting for this? You know, is there really a chance that it's going to come in now? Or is this something where you need to take more action to make it happen? The other thing is that in a few months, this card will turn right side up and you will start to move forward. And that means the new projects that you're doing in 2023 will start to really manifest themselves probably after March or April. And so you're seeing if you were thinking that some new project that you start in January is going to manifest in February, it's probably going to take a few months longer than that. But overall, three good cards. I like this card. The, the, you know, the little delay that's with it is not going to be noticeable by the end of the year. Learning to read the tarot is a great skill to have. With this course, you would learn how to give accurate readings, make better decisions, and to create a business that helps others. This course has more than 100 videos that teaches you how to enter the card itself and really feel that information, to really be part of what's going on so you don't have to memorize a book. Check out the link in the description to get more information.